Texas schools will have to wait longer for funding from the state to help pay for new safety requirements. Lawmakers ended their special session yesterday without an agreement on the $800 million plan. And the final gavel came just hours after yesterday's shooting outside of Northeast College High School, uh, early college high school. Our Monica Madden spoke to one superintendent frustrated with the lack of action at the Capitol. Told me that they heard gunshots. On Tuesday morning, Northeast Early College High School in Austin went on lockdown after shots were fired. I got scared and I just hid in the little corner. One student telling our team about the moments she realized it was not a drill. It got really scary when the SWAT team got there. Although no students were hurt or killed, school leaders say it highlights the needs districts have now. It's tragic and I think it elevates and escalates the need for us to make sure that we've got adequate resources and appropriate security on each of our campuses. Dr. Jeff Arnett, superintendent of neighboring Eanes ISD, says he's disappointed in the legislature's inaction on school safety funding. Well, we know the money is there. It's just that there are a lot of other issues at play right now. Districts face stiffer physical security requirements under a new school safety law passed at the Capitol. We've heard from a number of our colleagues across the state that it's very complicated, if not impossible, for them to comply with these mandates. The most expensive mandate requires districts to have at least one armed security guard at every campus. There is a lack of qualified law enforcement agents throughout the state. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick and House Speaker Dade Phelan have blamed one another for the lack of action on school safety funds amid a greater debate on so-called school choice. What I would hope is that we can somehow take the politics out of this. Please consider these things individually on their own merits. If you're going to mandate them, then understand the need, understand the cost of implementing these measures. Monica. That was Monica Madden reporting and digging a little deeper into the topic of school safety tonight. More answers could soon become available on police response to the Uvalde school shooting where 19 children and two teachers were killed. A Texas judge has ordered DPS to fulfill 28 records requests filed by news organizations over a year ago. Now those files would expose more details on the police response that day. You might remember officers waited for over an hour to confront the shooter. DPS has less than 20 days to release those records of that day.